a cut, a slice, a hack, a slash. Which do you use when you crash and bash? Is there a difference between these attacks when you stop an opponent in their tracks? Today we're going to talk about cuts versus slices in European martial arts. Hello everyone! Hi, it's Lauren back with you again and today it's a small video but it's looking at the difference between cutting and slicing as moves in martial arts and that particularly applies to blades. Now of course you cut your food, right? But really what are you doing? Are you cutting your food? No, you're slicing your food. So really what you're doing is you're making a slicing motion. What is the difference? Well, a cut is a movement of a blade towards an object to impact it. Whereas a slice is the movement along an object. So cut goes towards and hits and pushes in. A slice draws along either back and forth. Now we have push cut, pull cut, draw cut we could call them. We are moving or drawing the blade across the surface. And that's when we do stuff in the kitchen. Most of that is slight. really it's slicing. You are slicing. You say oh I'm gonna cut up this um, cucumber for the salad. And really you're slicing, you're cutting along, you're not... There are chopping motions that you do as well. And a chop is a swift kind of pivot. That could be equivalent to the cut. Of course, cutting is a little bit more fluid than just a chop. Um, when you sword fight, you don't chop like an axe uh, against wood. You want a nice cutting motion. But let's look a little bit more at the difference between these two. You move the chair out of the way. Grab the buckler for this. Goodbye, chair. No, I said goodbye. See? <laughs> when you just film the video, things happen. That's okay. Doesn't matter. So, one of the ways we use this is if we're talking about a cut, we deliver a cut, a motion towards the target to impact with the blade. Now, once we've impacted, we can draw the blade along, and that would be a slice. But we don't always need to cut in order to slice. So, in Sword and Buckler, especially if we look at the uh, old Pricus 133, uh, we see the Stichschlag, the thrust strike. And what that means is it's a thrust and slice along the target. Imagine if I were the target, now it's not just a thrust into the target. Come on, camera, focus. Okay. Camera doesn't want to focus. There we go. It is a thrusting motion, but to hit and slice along the target. So you are opening up. So that is slicing motion. Was there any cut involved in it? No, there was no cutting motion at all, but you have a slice. So there is a difference and you can use them differently in a fight from a cut or a slice as the motion. Now, moving over to longsword, something that we were teaching to our intermediate group last weekend. Shilha, the squinting. Now, what a squinting is, is if you parry the sword, but your blade is close to the opponent, Shilha means you are kind of squinting, looking down the blade, narrowing your eyes, so it's called the Shilha, for that reason. But what, you don't have enough room. If I'm here with the opposing blade, and the opponent's in front of me, I don't really have enough power, and I can't move the sword and wind up for an attack. It's going to take too much time. But what I can do is slice. I can push the sword across the opponent. Now this works really well when there's no armor involved. If there is armor, well, hopefully you've got an exposed spot that you can get to. Otherwise, we're totally different fighting. But for self-defense in the medieval road in the 15th century, this little motion of just throw the sword out and slice along the target, that slicing motion can open up a wound when you need to fight. Again, like I said, it's just going to be a quick video because cut, slice. So a thrust can easily turn into a slice. Of course, is there a difference between cutting and threading, thrusting? Yes. Which is better? That's left for another video, which we'll probably do next time. But for now, I want to say thank you very much for watching this short little discussion of the difference between cutting and slicing when using a blade. Do remember like, subscribe, very important, but most important, comment, because if there's something that you would like to see 
in a video. Comment about it and I'll see if I can make a video about the topic. Um, European, medieval, renaissance, martial arts in particular, but any kind of historical thing. I can see what I can do. Comparing, contrasting. You let me know. I'll be happy to try it out. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Do take care, stay safe, and keep on swinging and have a fabulous day.